Important updates. I am in a place, and the place that I am in is called the place I do not need to be because I either, there's a couple options. I am either bad at following directions or I was given bad directions. My pride wants it to be the latter. Reality and previous experiences dictate that it is the former. However, in any event, this flatbedder is currently using the reverse gear. I did not call and get permission. I am just winging it out here. And I will be going back down through the 40 acre woods, through the trees where this 13 foot, three or four inch or whatever it is, sleeper cab does not belong. And I will be putting it into a dirt field where apparently it does belong. A dirt field that is under the control of a man whose number I was given to coordinate this delivery and when I said hey I would like to be there how do I do that he said do you see the dirt road and I said I do on the old maps there and he says just go to the end of that dirt road and then when I got to the end of the dirt road I called him and I said this was a wild ride to the end of this dirt road I almost am a little worried that I'm in the wrong spot and then he said, do you see the crane? And I saw no cranes, none. No avian birds, no large steel structures. And I said, I do not. I see a rundown shack and a junkyard, which is where this truck belongs, frankly. And uh, he said, then you're in the wrong spot. And then he did the ultimate power move where he just hung up on it. And so now I'm attempting to turn around, which is putting me in the classic old jackknife position, which is totally fine. I don't think I can do it. I think I have to back out of here. I don't think I can turn around. I think I have to back out. And I don't even know how to back because I'm a flatbed. My day is going very well, thank you for asking. Uh, less than ideal situation here. They got a couple of real old school Jeep Wagoneers in that junkyard though. Maybe I should stop and befriend them. Okay, through the trees now. This is super fun. This is fun. having a great time. I like it here. This job is awesome. This is what I should be doing right now. I'm in my element. All things I'm going to tell myself. No, backing up is great with falling through the trees. What could go wrong? Honestly, nothing. Nothing is the matter here. Oh my god, dude. This turn is so tight. I don't know if I can back through this. Oh my god. This is not going good. So I just gotta stay the course here. Oh boy. Oh no. Honestly, the right thing to do right now would probably be to just call a van driver and have them perform this complex set of maneuvers, but I think what I'm going to do instead is walk over here to these bushes and mark my territory and then just keep plugging away at it. Well, important updates. I just had to get out to talk to one of them four wheelers who's less than pleased with me. Seeing as uh, he has to wait for me to navigate this next turn before he can get out. Now there's two cars in front of me, which is amazing. But he did tell me that it was quite odd that he had seen a truck that looked just like mine hauling the same stuff as mine. Go and make the same error, go into the place that I was at, which leads me back to my first statement, which is that maybe 
it's possible that we got bad directions. It's also possible that there could exist within my company two drivers that are bad at following directions or what have you, but um, in an exercise of uh, ego preservation, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. I mean, we got bad directions. <laughs> These were not good directions. There's a car right on my bumper right now tailgating me from the front as I'm backing up and they appear to think that that may do something to speed up this situation we found ourselves in but they are mistaken it's going to take exactly as long as it takes If it were a stake, it'd already be well done. I'll tell you that right now. We're way past red. No pink. All gristle, baby. Well, I finally made it. Now I just gotta get my 18 straps off of here. Hopefully before that guy in front of me gets unloaded. It's not easy being a strap outlaw. You gotta be quick. It's only halfway done with that truck ahead of me, so I can knock out this edge protection. That right there is uh, how the West was won, one strap at a time. Yep, still unloading that first truck. Oh, bugs, don't worry about that. Shoot, I even had time to wash my hands, dude. Which means one of two things, really. Um, a, I'm really, really good at this. Or B, um, Sunbelt Timmy over there is not so good at the old rental lift machine. But I'm gonna go with option A because of my track record today. I need a win, okay? 
This morning didn't go as good as it should have. I'm taking the win. I'm really good at this. Thank you. I'm getting unloaded right now, but it's time for a, a good old fashioned wardrobe change because the seasons are changing. And my season, my particular season of color is highly reflective material so I don't get yelled at. And if you're wondering what peak male performance looks like, <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Fit check? Thank you. All right, we are um, unloaded. On to the next thing. Let's go. We will now check in at some other place. I really don't. Okay. The truck is beeping. Things are happening. Take that off. Let's go check in. Did we not go over this before I left the last place? Remember how I was wearing a black shirt? Now I'm wearing this one. And I specifically mentioned because they want reflective here. Look at this. Is, is this not reflective? Do you, do you see it? The audacity on forklift Timmy to tell me I needed a vest. Important updates, I still love it here. This job is amazing. This is the dock. I have to back into it. Fortunately, I'm really feeling my oats, or my oatmeal or whatever they say. Uh, after I went, what I went through this morning, I think I can do it. That guy is having a bad day. He got the other side of his trailer stuck on the dock which is less than ideal. So now forklift Timmy is gonna unload this guy so he can get disentangled from the side of the dock and there are still bugs on the windshield. These are my updates, thank you. How are you guys feeling about continuity? Do you want it to be clear? I'm already loaded now. I'm at the truck stop by Wade. I weigh my loads now. It's a new bit I'm trying out. I'm legal. It took three hours to get in and out of the shingle place that I picked up the shingles at because of the thing that I was showing you earlier and just the nonsense. But there's not a lot of time to sit here and talk about it because this load's going all the way back to Bend, Oregon. It's a very, very, very short distance to go and an incredibly long time to get there. So. I really just don't have the time to sit here and tell you about it. And also, I'm really thirsty. Um, one of them sugary drinks sounds really good right about now. So we're going to run in and grab one at the TA. And I'm at the TA in Troutdale, Oregon. Is probably all I needed to say for this clip, but you got all of this. Enjoy it. Thank you. I am now on a place called The Forest, or in it. It's fine, it's where I like to be. I'm gonna check this load and then I'm gonna check out the forest. The load is fine, thanks for asking. Now let's see what's up here. Strawberry, I like finding that in the woods. A little late for berries though, I missed the party. I like that track there. Means I'm going the right way. Dang it. R.I.P. little dude. Couple of owl pellets here. That's pretty cool. Man, that's a good looking owl tree if I've ever seen one. Coniferous forests honestly rule get wrecked eastern united states i'm pretty sure that's a stellar's jay feather i love those birds do you hear it nice well if this just doesn't get a fellow excited i don't even know what will we hit pay dirt. 
Nice. Walking through the dense brush is a challenge in and of itself, but walking through the brush, and it, with no pockets big enough to store your quarry, and trying not to disturb this mycological masterpiece is the kind of challenge that I live for. <clears throat> Back to real life. Shame. According to the old global positioning system there, um, that was 2.98 miles. <laughs> if you think I'm going to show you the map, you've got another thing coming. I'm coming back here and I'm going to find more cool stuff. But honestly, it's easy to find. Um, it amazes me how much stuff you can find so close to the road anymore. It's good for me though. One of my least favorite things about rejoining civilization is uh, this part. It's when I wear the incorrect footwear. And all of the forest comes back with me right here in this crease of my shoe. Yeah. Gotta get rid of that. Madras, Oregon, we're gonna splash. That's what they call it. That's what the kids call it. These, we're gonna splash on some fuel. Of course you gotta be like that. It's totally fine. <laughs> Made it back to where I started this morning. You didn't see that part, but I did start in Redmond, Oregon this morning. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Important updates. We are now in the shop, and that is where the mechanics work. One of them is not my friend right now because what he did is he neglected to do the old torque down and, uh, my wheel almost came off. But he has apologized and he has promised me that he will only install tires with direct supervision from this point forward. And look, I'm not, I'm not disappointed at him. I'm mad at him and I've made that clear to him. And the reason I'm not disappointed is because my expectation of his work has been low for an incredibly long time already. And that's all I'm going to say about that in this video, but I feel like I'll be referencing this situation for a long time, especially in front of him. Thank you. James? No. Jimmy? There you go. I found this mushroom today. It's very impressive. Do you know what kind it is? Shrooms. I'm 98.2% positive that it's something called sheep of the woods. Is this something you can take a bite out of? Or sheep's wool. Can I take a bite out of it? Here's the thing. I'm 98.2% positive that this is, that's what this is. And if I, if that's correct, this is edible, but there's also like a 1.8% chance that it's another kind of mushroom that's incredibly poisonous. So 98 and 1.8, I like those odds, it's pretty good. So here's the deal, I'm gonna need you to take a bite out of this and then if you die, I'm gonna cook it up with my ribeye steak. You don't get to wash it first. No, if you don't die, I'll cook it. But like, if you do die, I'll throw the rest away. Do I get to like wash it first or just? I mean, <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it. Cause you're probably going to be dead is what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't trust me. Currently at Rigoberto's. As much as it bothers me that the torque master there did not tighten those lug nuts down on my truck, he is a halfway decent fella. And he deserves the Supreme Burrito with no guacamole. So I'm gonna hook a brother up. And then uh, I've, uh, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I preemptively feel a little bit guilty about all of the crap I'm gonna talk to him for at least the next three months or until, until he quits out of shame. So that's nice. Now I'm no mechanic, but I used to be one of these broom pusher dudes at the sawmill and it went a lot like this, except um, I wasn't in nearly as good a mood. Good doing that. Yeah, thank you, man. Um, but I don't know. Somebody told me one time if 
If you're not happy with where you're at at work, just start, pick up a broom and then you'll become the boss someday or whatever. Um, I've been doing this for about 33 seconds and I have yet to be promoted. <laughs> Honestly, that restroom, mechanics only. I don't need the laws of man to tell me what I ought to do. Or whatever the heck Tyler Childers said. But I am gonna establish my dominance and mark my territory in the mechanics bathroom because you know, sometimes you gotta live on the edge. Well, so far I swept their shop. I taught Torque Master how to back up a trailer. I fed them. Um, and in return, they have done absolutely nothing to my truck and trailer. So, honestly, everything's going about as smoothly as you could expect. Important updates. My truck is still not in the shop. The Torque Master is, I think, sleeping in the loft. I don't know what happens in there. My truck's out. But I do know that I want to go to bed. And that's unfortunate because as soon as I lay my head down on the pillow, they're going to wake me up and say, your truck's ready to go in the shop. So... Anyways, good night. This has been an excellent day. I hope tomorrow is just like it. Oh, uh, do you want to know my stats? I will tell you my stats. 332 miles. Not everyone can be a trucker like me and pull out that kind of mileage, but I am a special breed.